I've been an agent for over 20 years, 21, 22 years. Okay, when they call in for quotes, and normally they're for homeowners quotes, and I explain to them that the majority of them are in a flood zone, and they know, they probably already know when they bought the house that it, they're in a flood zone, if they are. But I tell them even if they aren't in a flood zone, 30% of all flooding happens in non-flood zones. We all automatically give them a flood quote with every single quote or proposal that goes out, it has a flood proposal in it also. So we go in our system and we uh, get a flood zone determination and we tell them what zone they're in. And if they're in an A and a VE zone, we inform them that they have to have an elevation certificate so that we can quote the flood for them. Well, we tell them if they're upset about having to get flood, we, if they're in a flood zone and they have a mortgage, we tell them they have to have a flood policy. And then when we talk to them, if they don't have a mortgage and they need flood, we just explain to them why they need flood. We offer flood to every single person that comes in our agency. If they do not want the flood, then we have them sign a rejection form. They have to sign a rejection form that we offered the flood, and at this time they do not want it. Now, some of them have actually come back and gotten the flood, and normally when you stick a rejection form in front of somebody to sign, sometimes they change their tune, and they'll say, okay, I do want the flood, right. and they will get it. But we, we really, like I said, we haven't changed our strategy because we did it a long time before the flooding and we still do it as of date. I think, I think every realtor ought to understand the basics of uh, flood insurance. And I think it would be, uh, I think it's important that you point out to homeowners that uh, even if it's not required, it may be available. And the surprise is, or the surprise that happened in uh, Conway here, in 99 especially, was that we had properties that we thought would never flood, mm. that flooded. And so you just can't ride by and look at a property and decide whether or not it'll flood. So it's real important that realtors uh, recommend to uh, pr property owners purchasers of properties, residential properties especially, and commercial, that federal flood insurance is available and they ought to investigate it because, as I said earlier, uh, many times it's much more affordable than folks realize. As a realtor, it's important that whether you're on the coast like we are, mm -hmm. I mean, you know you're in the flood zone, but if you look at some of the flooding that happened recently, in the inland areas, people mm -hmm. didn't realize that they that that could happen in right. the watershed areas. Right. Um, so um, it, it's important in every community statewide mm -hmm. um, to to have this program and for realtors and the public to be educated on it before they they show a property or you know advise a client. I think it's important that they uh, know where that property mm -hmm. lies within a flood zone. Even if it's in an X flood zone, which does not require flood insurance for mortgage lenders, I think it's important to advise your clients that they study the flood maps, that they consider purchasing it. Because in an X zone, it's, it's not expensive. You know, for a few hundred dollars, it's a peace of mind. And, and what we've seen here recently in South Carolina is properties that were not in flood zones. Yeah. You know, and, and people went to sleep at night and they woke up the next morning and, and their house was full of water. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and for a few hundred dollars a year, um, someone can have a peace of mind to know that they're protected.